Right. Um, this is a video about stripping a cylinder head with a homemade valve squeezer. Let's put the washer in, we forgot the washer. Wash that side there. The rusty washer this side here. Yeah. Start into the hole there. Put that in there. Push the outlet through. Alright, that's the one. There we go. We now have the bar ready for action. <coughs> I've got the limb bins, they are all, they're all marked inside. That's the what part go in there. So let's get started. I've marked the head. This is one over there. You might not be able to see it. Because uh, it's marked in black on black. The other head is marked in white to keep them separate. Um, so right, let's get started. The reason why I bought this is I think those other handheld ones are a pain. They're a real pain. You need uh, you always need extra hands to take the thing apart. Maybe I should have made myself a little more space. But in any case, there's the first one. That goes in there. And I will send a punch one mark on this head. There we go. There's all the parts. The other quarter point is there. Well, wash it that end. Let's pull out the, the little washer. Okay, there we go. Right, that one's done. Next one. So, as you can see, it works really well. Quick to disassemble and quick to assemble later on. Two and push it off, and there we go. Right, second one done. We'll now take off the washer. That's there, just to protect the head. And oops, and there we go. Right. And there you go. Oh, I don't want back in there. Okay, go back in there. There's the first one. And let's make sure it can't fall back in there. There we go. There we go. It's, it's out, it's out, and it's out. Now just to put the little washer. Or shim. Or whatever you choose to call it. Turn the lid around. Yes, this is a six on the head. And Hopefully I'll let the table big enough that uh, when I do my gips head, the uh, 4.7 litre V8, uh, it should be big enough for 
the jib head. Right, now we're working from the other side. So this is valve number six. Valve number six. There we go, in that little bin over there. And let's make a plan to get the other one out as well there. Heads were done about five thousand or reconditioned about five thousand k to go. Uh, now the whole engine being rebuilt, and the reason why I'm not putting them on, there's a lot of uh, carbon and build up from the engine, the rest of the engine not, not having been right. Um, I could have just uh, thinned the valves and put it back, however, I'm doing a bit of a thin up on the ports. As these ports are out of factory, out of box, are absolutely horrible. It's an old fashioned motor. Uh, There's a few upgrades as it went along over the years. They look absolutely pathetic. Uh, there is so much horsepower being thrown away and fuel efficiency that it's not funny. So we will improve on that and hopefully I'll be making a video on that as well. So we can now just flip this over to the back there, out the way. And we can turn the head around so we can mold the valves. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>